Well, hello, everybody. UFC 203 is done in the books. Well, it was still going on with uh, Stipe's... Um... Is this one even worth being in the books? <clears throat> yes, it was not a bad event. <laughs> anyway, Stipe's uh, post-fight uh, interview was going, Comcast needs to fix their stuff, Xfinity, Comcast, whatever they're called, because that the feed cut out three times. Whatever, it didn't miss anything important. But, yeah, three. Three equals, you know, three times the more you know. <laughs> so... This is Real Honesty with John Ritlin. I am John Ritlin. UFC 203 review. Thankfully, n unlike uh, UFC 200, no stupid baseball game cutting off the prelims where we had to go to... What the heck was that? Fox Sports Go? Yeah. Is that what it was? Okay, that's what it was. Kyle's over here in his... Uh, I, I assume in his hood. He's I, comfy. I thought he was circumcised, but I guess not. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, Drew don't... What? His hood? He has a fleshy hood. You should know about that, shouldn't you? Anyway, I'm sorry, Kyle. Please don't. I probably me. had the best reaction to that. Too. He did. I mean, you know what? Hey, I mean, I got to make some jokes. But anyway, Drew Dover, not Dover. Doberman, versus Jason Gonzalez. <clears throat> I guess it was Jason Gonzalez's first actual, like, you know, on TV fight besides what he had in the Ultimate Fighter. Why was he, why was he played? I don't fighting? know. I'm just seeing you doing this. And I just was like, oh, Anyway, ooh, ooh, ooh. so it was a first round. I mean, boy, I'm just going to tell you this. It didn't last very long. Dober got that TKO, and my God, Gonzalez was out. Lasted longer than Punk. <laughs> uh, no, actually, Punk lasted longer. Um, Dober would probably agree. Yes, mm. Dober <laughs> had a good showing. Gonzalez, he, I, I, I think he's got a bright future. He will learn from this, and will hopefully do better in his next fights. So at least you tried. At least you tried. I mean, but come on. I mean, now how well? I mean, you know, somebody did very well in their first UFC fight tonight. We'll get to that. <clears throat> so then we go to, and I'm sorry if I ruin these names. Casual MMA fan, don't always watch these prelim things. But anyway, Nick Lentz versus Michael McBride, which I thought the guy was from action for was announced from Ireland. He was actually from Iowa. Close enough. Geography is not my major. <clears throat> First round, Lentz with dominant groundwork, and then more groundwork. McBride got beat, and then of course, you know he just got you know destroyed. I mean, there are more woo chants and stuff like that. Crowd booed and uh, Lance won. Yay. <laughs> Cleveland was not very nice to people tonight. They were nice to about two two people, two hometown people. That was about it. Um, they were nice to Punk until it lost. I mean, well, yeah, and we'll get to that. But <laughs> so far, the first two fights, not bad. I mean, you, you want a, you know, a quick knockout to kind of spice up the crowd and everything. Sure, Lance and McBride, it wasn't great, but it wasn't horrible. I mean, I've seen worse. And then Megan... Olivi, my God, show more of her, more of her, and more of whoever that woman in the blue dress was. Not devil in the blue dress. What? I think she was like the ringside the doctor. Prada. The devil does wear Prada. I hated that movie. Why did I watch that movie? I'm Why not even... did you watch that? Movie? Uh, Anne Hathaway. Yeah. Who? Anne Hathaway. Who? Anne Hathaway was in that, wasn't Who? she? Okay. And Emily Blunt. I like Emily Blunt. Um, <laughs> is so high. Anyway. I'm not even gonna try to say this guy's in the last name, but Cal, uh, Kyle, Kyle. I'm Kyle. sorry. I thought it was Cow at first, but anyway, Kyle versus Brad Tavares. It was a split decision. First round started out with heavy fists. Kyle was more dominant, and then more of a clinch game. That sounds so wrong. Um, talking about him being so dominant. Yes, talking about him being dominant, dominant from down under. So dominant. And then you know Tavares. I thought Tavares was losing. I honestly God I thought Tavares was losing the fight the first two rounds. Turns out I was wrong. <clears throat> Tavares had more strikes in the third round, and it was fun. He had split decision, went Tavares' way. Not a bad fight. Not a great fight, but not a bad fight. <clears throat> and then you had Jessica, oh, right in the eye, versus uh, Bethe. I, I'm not even sure how to say her last name. Was say, she beefy enough? Bethe. Bethe. That, that's... That that joke that joke went down you know went down harder than the challenger, um, Coria. So anyway, it was a split decision, close. I honest to God thought that Jessica might have gotten the win. <clears throat> huge huge hometown pop, good strikes in the first round, more good strikes in the second. It was very close. I mean, we were all saying it was very very close. Kyle, you look like you're trying to be like a cheap you know Sith Lord over there. <laughs> I mean, what is like? He is the polar bear Sith Lord. I'm just now picturing polar bears fighting with lightsabers. 
Not Coke bottles. And then one drinks a Coke bottle, gets his hand cut off. It's all I'm picturing now. And then he picks up another, he picks up a lightsaber, you know, hits him and then uses the lightsaber to open the Coke bottle. That's what I'm picturing now. Mm. He drinks it with his other hand and all the other. Uh, apparently Emperor Palpatine, you know, went, went with a little helium. Come to the dark side. Turn right. to the dog. Lord Vader! Oh, punch buggy. Anyway, crowd was crowd was livid that that Jessica did not win. Are we gonna try to be professional here at all? <laughs> when are we ever professional? We are we are not. But anyway, okay, so crowd was oh, livid. Livid that Jessica I, you know, lost it. Not <laughs> eye of the storm, eye of the tiger. I love how you say that right as I'm saying out or something in my eye. Get your finger out of there. And Kyle, I don't even want to know. I hope you were yawning and not reacting to that. That was not good. <clears throat> Jessica Andrade, not with Cien Almas, so it was not the wrestler. Androgynous. Androgynous Cien Almas. <laughs> I really need to stop calling him that because that word is horrible. Insulting. But anyway, what? Insulting. Insulting. I think you said assaulting. But anyway. Well, uh, <clears throat> some of the things you do are insulting. Some? <laughs> anyway, so quit. Talking to the cat. Hi, Finn. Anyway, yeah. Joanne Calderwood. Oh, boy. That was quick. I mean, gee, Joanne tapped out quicker, you know, than I would have expected. She lasted longer she tapped than... tapped out quicker than most of your sex partners? They tap out by leaving. By run... Well, the drugs wear off, and then they run. See, that? that's the problem. So you pull a con. <clears throat> it's hard to not do that when they... Never mind. Anyway, so... <clears throat> That was good groundwork, good guillotine. So good, good fight to start off. Good job. The women did. Good job, everyone. Uh, the women did. The women did. You know, well, even though it was a first round, first round choke out. You know, submission, whatever you want to call it. You would know about choke out. Chicken choke. So would Ben want. Um, Uriah Chicken Faber choke. versus Jimmy Ver Rivera. I'm getting so much hate for this review later. <laughs> Uriah Faber. For me. Yes. You're I thought you were trying to put your head in my hand on the camera. I was like, what? <laughs> Uriah Faber versus Jimmy uh, Rivera. It was decent. I mean, the crowd was booing, but it's like, Faber is not going to move quite as fast as he used to in his WEC days. Why are you doing the Emma dance? What is that? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> some big shots. You want to date somebody like Zack Ryder? What the hell's wrong with you? He loves Emma. Woo, woo, woo. I know, I know you do, and it's hard not to love Emma with some of the recent photo shoots she's done. But anyway, some big shots, you know, and then... Now he's going to want to see that. His eyes perked up when he said that. I will have to show you. After. I'll, I'll show you tomorrow. Remind me. Um, Not much action, though. I mean, after the initial, like, big shots and then leg kicks. I thought Rivera won the second round. And Jimmy got eye poked at one point. Not like Jessica right in the eye. And Faber, Faber looked gassed. I mean, he looked really gassed. Now, to be fair, 37 with the mileage he's had and the amount of fights he's had, that's going to happen. And Rivera was, Rivera, no, that was over. Rivera is going to, you know, it's 27. He's got at least a few more prime years left in him before maybe, you know, injuries catch up to him. So still, he won. It was decent for what it was. And then number three, I mean, this is a fight at least no one, you know, was hyping or anything. I mean, it, it slipped under the radar. I mean, anybody that knows CM Punk signed with UFC back in uh, November 2014. I mean, I know that it came really under the radar, and they hadn't really talked about him much in two years. And he used to be kind of a big deal in WWE, I guess. I mean, it's not like anybody here is wearing a CM I mean, shirt. I'm not. Kyle, why are you wearing that? She's <laughs> <laughs> pointing at me. <laughs> like, people don't know what the CM Punk shirt is. But anyway, CM Punk, you know? CM Punk versus Mickey Gall, I believe in what his... You realize how long you were pointing at me? Anyway, so Mickey Gall... And he's only had a couple fights. And I'm, so, yeah, Mickey come out to Tony Basil's Mickey theme. That was fun. That was fun. That was awesome. That was really good. You know what? That guy has embraced the fact that his, that his name, he didn't come out to something like, say, you know, a Mickey Mouse theme or something like that, the Mickey Mouse Club theme, which would have been even more ridiculous. <clears throat> I would have cheered. I would have also, in all honesty. It would have been funny since I was on my DS and I have a Mickey Mouse background. Oh, God. <laughs> Thank God you said DS. It was funny because I was on my D with an Mickey in the background. He you. Oh, anyway. Yeah, we just did that with you in the room. 
That's, still, that's why I was uncomfortable. CM Punk with cult of personality, I pop. I'm sorry, I pop. He used it all the way back. He used it all the way back in Ring of Honor. What are you talking about? You've reacted to it. Anyway, <coughs> he reacted as much as he's reacting now, honestly. So, anyway, he's been up for. He's like. You've been up it's quite a while, off. right? Just stay I've been up since eight. Okay, well, I've been up late longer than you, but still, you work a lot harder than I do. Anyway, cult of personality. It was really, really good stuff. I really enjoyed it, and then he had all this hype. And then 10 seconds in, Punk is like, shit, shit, shit. Well, this, is, this was, was a bad idea. This, this was a bad idea. He tries to take the first swing and gets thrown down. I mean... He gets lifted. He, de he got lifted, he got... I mean, <clears throat> there's a 15-year age difference. And no, we're not talking about Punk and... and uh, we're not talking about Punk and AJ, because they only have about a 10-year age difference. We're not talking about Paige and Del Rio, which is a 15-year age difference. <laughs> You, I don't want to think about AJ Styles and CM Punk together. God damn it, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. My job is to Yeah, I was going to say. But, boy, Mickey, just... I mean, to be fair, did we all expect this to last past the round? No. Nope. No, I, I was amazed it lasted as long as it did. Punk just got beat and beat and Mickey. destroyed and destroyed. And still going. And guess what? Vince was probably laughing. Now, were we laughing? Yeah, I was. I was because I'm like, all oh, that hype and look, credit to Punk. He's nearly 39 years old, 38, 39 years old, whatever. I actually think he's almost 38. I might be a bit off on his age. But still. That was such an embarrassment. It really was. Now, but to, to Punk's credit, he did last longer than I thought he would. He tried. He he overcame he some injuries. He about as long as AJ, with AJ. No, Cassie, come on. They've been married for a while. They seem happy to hear. Let's not pick on their marriage. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, that was that was good stuff. It, even if it was just a train wreck to watch. Now, was it embarrassing? Yes, from an MMA purist, even though I'm not that, and none of us are. Um, it was still it was it still had a big fight feel to it, and Mickey came out looking like a star, even though he beat a guy that had never had a professional fight. Elderly abuse. Elderly abuse. Not yet. I mean, he's not that old. Jeez. <clears throat> but, to Punk's credit, he was gracious afterwards. Um, I have no idea what Mickey was saying in his post-match promo. He said... I heard fuck a lot. He said... Yeah, he said that a lot. Yeah. I mean, you know, we were gonna... I was quoting him. Yes, you were quoting him. Help. It doesn't matter. You know what? If, if, if I get anything demonetized because of swearing, if it's occasional swearing, whatever, it's free speech. Um... Punk, though, was gracious in his post-fight uh, post you know, interview. Good for him. He talked about wanting to come back because this gave him evidence that he should come back. If he wants to try it and he wants to try and win a fight, good. I don't think he's going to. Nope. But if he wants to try again, all the best to him. <coughs> Credit to him for stepping in. Punk, please don't get back into the UFC. Oh, God, please, don't do it. I don't get. I'm not saying go back to WWE. I'm not saying that. That ship has sailed. I don't care if you get back into wrestling. Don't get back into the octagon, please. Don't. Don't. You tried once, please. You got a big payday. Just you, you look. You look gracious in defeat, despite your ear being hugely cauliflowered. My God, I thought it was your. What? I'm not. I'm not even knocking. I thought. I thought. What is the eye? I mean, you expect the eye thing, but God, I thought his ear was going to explode if you know Jeff, or if uh, Joe Rogan even talked like near him. <clears throat> hey, punk! <laughs> Cult of personality starts playing out the, you know, the, the pus pocket. Anyway, oh, but <clears throat> that's a different type of living color. Yeah. Anyway, so it's in your head now. You have to think of living color every time. So we can agree though that was pretty bad. That was. That was really. He lost so much dignity on that. I mean, one could argue he didn't have much going into it, but. Now, I mean, look, should he fight again, Kyle? Should he fight again? Uh, I think he might be able to do it. Okay. Do you think he should, though? No. Okay. Okay, Cassie. No. And no, he shouldn't. If he wants to, wants to keep training, bravo to him. Or send him down a level. No. No, just send him down a level. What the hell are you talking about? Send him to Bellator. All the old people fight there. <clears throat> so anyway... Travis Brown versus Fabricio 
word them. Fabricio, and I swear, I hope I got the name right, that sounds like some kind of Brazilian cologne. <clears throat> word them, it sounds like Professor Parcher. Wordstrom. <laughs> anyway. How you were pissed at him the whole time. That was kind of so Travis Brown is a woman beater and deserved every damn shot he got. That was the other guy. No. The guy with the beard. That is Travis Brown. I thought the no. other guy was. Again, we're not all MMA fans. I just know this much. No, Travis Brown was the one with the beard. He was a six foot seven guy. <clears throat> Boy, word of went for it early. I mean, that kid where I'm like, um, damn. I mean, that was ballsy. <clears throat> Brown lost big time, though. I mean, he did. Even though he got a couple takedowns, they didn't really last. And he looked gassed. He just looked... He, he had, like, a busted hand, like, possible busted finger, busted thumb or something. Yeah, he did this. He was doing this a lot. <clears throat> busted thumb, by the way. But, yeah, busted thumb. Anyway, can't play video games. That... That wasn't... It wasn't a bad fight, but I could see why the crowd booed. Um, It didn't help that... Sometimes heavyweight fights are either really good or really bad. <clears throat> Credit, though, to Wardham. He looked great, and hopefully he gets, hopefully this elevates him. Brown, you're a piece of crap for abusing women. I don't care if you hit it. I don't care what the circumstances were. So does this beg the question, what can Brown do for you? You know what, it, you know what, it, you know what Brown could do for Whitney Houston? I mean, we found that out. And that didn't work out so well, did it? <clears throat> Singing in the bathtub. Anyway, Stipe versus Alistair, Alistair, whatever, Overeem. Well, that was a huge pop for Stipe. A lot of booze for Overeem. Boy, he looks smaller. Guess that's what happens when you're off the juice. Um, <clears throat> in trouble at first, Overeem almost had him. <clears throat> and then Stipe just beat him and beat him. And Overeem looked gassed right away. And I don't know if it was conditioning. I don't know what it was. <clears throat> Maybe he needed his drugs. I don't know. Maybe he needed the roids. Maybe he needed his juice. <clears throat> but he got, he got, he got beat. I mean, that was just sad. He just got, he got fisted, apparently. <laughs> USC is the only sport where you can watch guys legally fist each other, <laughs> and you don't get in trouble. And you can watch women legally fist Kitty. each other. Kitty! Kitty! You're making an appearance, Mr. Producer, or Miss Producer. Which one is that? Cassie, which one is that? Look back there. Anyway, so... I figured he did. Anyway, so, okay. Let's just be honest. So, was the pay-per-view great? It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. I mean, I didn't mind it. Bring, pick up the cat. Have the cat make an appearance. Pick up the cat. We're going to have the producer make an appearance here just before we close the review. Oh, where'd the kitty make an appearance? Hi, producer. Mr. Finn. Mr. Oh, Finn. Mr. Finn did not like UFC 203. Anyway, so, okay, let's sit down. Let's, let's give. <laughs> I'm wondering if Harold's a boy. Let's give, let, let's give grades. I didn't, th I thought the prelims were at least a B, B minus to a B. I mean, they weren't bad. They weren't great, but for free fights. What about prelims? Yeah, but for pre <laughs> The producer's <laughs> bothering the man of the house now. <laughs> anyway, so. The prelims were fine. They were fine for what they were, especially the initial knockout. So that that was good. And the original and the you know the main card. Look, the problem is with in wrestling. Of course, everything they can script it for as long as they want, time wise. <laughs> UFC, more often than not, if a fight ends early, you know than expected. Even though it could go all three rounds, if it ends in the first round, well, you do a high package, you go to the next one. That's kind of the mistake, you know. That's kind of the chance you take with, with these kind of things. I still didn't think it was a bad pay-per-view by any stretch of the imagination. No. I mean, I enjoyed it. <clears throat> was it the greatest card I've ever seen? No. And was it... Was it greatest... better than Brock? Yeah. Because we at least know that Punk doesn't juice. Yeah. I mean, and that's the thing is like, see, it, uh, somebody did point out, and forgive me if I don't forget who said it, but somebody said, wouldn't it be... <clears throat> it would be funny if Punk got fl uh, USDA flag. I'm like... Yeah, being straight edge, that would be kind of funny. But <clears throat> anyway, so overall, I enjoyed it. We we had fun. Yeah. Was it was it great? It ended a lot earlier than expected, <laughs> but still, it was, it was fun. Just to end at like ten. <clears throat> yeah, ten, ten, ten thirty sometimes depends on how long the pay per view. It go a full four hours, I believe. But anyway, so that's going to be that. <clears throat> Twitter links are in the description. Like, comment, subscribe if you agree, if you disagree. Keep in mind though, before we close this, 
casual MMA fans. We're just having fun. If you MMA purists want to really, you know, rip it, rip into people like me that do that do reviews, don't you have anything better to do? Like, and you just help with his view count by watching yeah, the whole thing. That's the thing is haters just motivate haters motivate me. So again, like, comment, subscribe, Twitter links in the description. This is Real Aussie with John Ritland. I'm John Ritland. USC Cassie. 203 is done. That's Kyle, and the producers are off the show. See ya. Bye. And uh <laughs>